Hi, welcome to oral communication. Oral communication is one of your core subjects in senior high school. And for today, we're going to be talking about the nature and elements of communication. The knowledge that you have to gain here would be first, the definition of communication. Of course, in every subject that you're going to learn, the first thing that you have to learn is what that subject is. Say, for example, you're taking up organization and management, then you have to understand the meaning of management. If you're taking up entrepreneurship, then you have to know the definition of entrepreneurship, right? So since this is for oral communication, you're going to learn the definition of communication. We're going to be talking also about the process of communication and elements of effective communication, as well as communication models, which is in a separate video. Uh, and it will include about verbal and nonverbal communication. The skills... Actually, the skill that you have to learn also would be modeling the process of effective communication. Now, let's look at the definition of communication. Communication is a systematic process through which individuals interact through symbols to create and interpret meaning. So, as you can see, communication is a systematic process. Okay? It's a systematic process. Just like when you do your science experiments there are steps they have to follow you don't do step one followed by step seven or and then jump back to step three communication is also a systematic process there's a sequence there's there are steps that we follow for it to be effective a com uh, communication is a systematic process through which individuals interact the interaction may be through the intrapersonal communication where one communicates uh, with himself or it could be between two people or it could be through public speaking but definitely for communication to uh, for it to be considered as communication there should be interaction communication is a systematic process through which individuals interact through symbols these symbols could be words could be actions right could be expressions and this are the ones that we use to create and interpret meaning unless the message message is conveyed or unless it is interpreted or understood then it can't be considered as communication again communication is a systematic process through which individuals interact through symbols to create and interpret meaning now, let's talk about the elements of communication. Okay, these are the elements of communication. You have source, message, encoding, communication channel, receiver, decoding, and feedback. From the word itself, source, it can also be called as the sender. Of course, the source is the one that transmits the word the the action or expression or the source is the one that transmits the message now the message is the one that is transmitted from the source to the receiver it could be words it could be action or it could also be expression now for encoding the keyword is how this is how the message is transmitted from the source to the receiver this is how um, the, the word, the action, or the expression is conveyed from the sender to the receiver. The next one would be the communication channel. This is through which the words, the action, or the expressions is transmitted from the source to the receiver. So this is the medium, the communication channel. The receiver, of course, is the one that receives the message and Decoding would mean extracting the meaning of the words, actions, or expressions received. Now, for the feedback, it's I think it's easy. It's another word for response or reply. So these are the seven elements of communication. Now, in this situation, I'm discussing about communication and elements of communication. Try to identify the elements of communication. Who is the source? What is the message? How is it encoded? 
what is our communication channel? Who is the receiver in this situation? How does the receiver decode the message? And what is your feedback? Thank you for watching.